We don't have to just throw up whatever thoughts come in our head. We can wait on the Lord and allow him to direct what to pray. That's praying by the Spirit. But it also means praying in the Spirit with a gift that he's given us, the gift of tongues. The gift of tongues is for every believer who wants it. Every believer who believes in it. Ooh, every believer who asks for it shall receive it by faith in Jesus' name. What is it? The gift of tongues is a heavenly language. Every place on this planet has a language. Why not heaven? See, the enemy got thrown out of heaven. And with being thrown out of heaven, he lost the gift. He lost the language. It's the one language that he cannot interpret. He cannot understand. That's why the Bible says in our weaknesses, in our, when we don't know what to pray, pray in the Spirit. For we're praying the very perfect will of God. 1 Corinthians 14 describes what the gift of tongues was given us. It was given to us to build us up. Why do you get built up? To stay strong, to get stronger. It says it was given to us to edify, to encourage us. So why would we reject it? Only because the devil would like to lie, give us a lie. The only reason so much of the body of Christ has rejected the gift of tongues is because they believed the lies of the devil. Any denomination that rejects this is believing the lies of the devil. Any believer that rejects the gift of tongues is believing the lies of the devil. They are weak in the faith. If you don't have the gift of tongues, you're weak in the faith. Because that's why the Bible says he gave us tongues to build us up. So if you're not being built up, then what are you? You're not strong. So we need to pray in tongues. And it doesn't say in church. It says in every occasion, everywhere. And now you have a power, a spiritual strength that you can handle whatever you're facing. So why would we not want it?